you have the most difficult job in the world and you are the least trained to do it. Here at Riverside and why? Um, I, yeah, I really do enjoy learning at Riverside because um, I just think the teaching faculty are all really generous people and they really do put their time into their passion for teaching. To you, what is a Riverside girl? Well, I've always um, told them from assembly to try and make a small difference every day. And understanding the concept of a Riversidean, you know, that people just saying what a fantastic place it was and having, and one lady actually came up and she had every memento of her school life all beautifully done in a, fr in a beautiful box frame that she has near her front door. And to think that a school can have such an impact on someone's life. And certainly over three decades, um, the girls were fabulous. I mean, you really, to teach at Riverside, those three decades makes you a very lucky. Being very touched by understanding a little bit about uh, some of the important parts of the school, like that beautiful big painting at the back of the hall, and understanding how how that came about through head teacher and teacher and student commitment. That's what I really hope for Riverside for the future, that it will continue to not just um, be a wonderful place for the education of young women in the inner west, but be a flagship school for the public system. Um, certainly the girls always talk about opportunity and those opportunities I'm, I believe are there for staff as well. Yeah, there's a lot of opportunity such a variety of fields, it beats for social justice, yes. academics, um, that's a real strength of the school as well. And, and mainly driven, largely driven by the expertise of the staff and being able to recognise that and um, enjoy their successes too has been important for me. We had a little opening. I mean, that was a really nice place. People did go down there occasionally and use it. What was the Arboretum used for? Well, if you go back right to the start of the school, you'll see the original buildings and a massive Arboretum. We've got, we've got 430 trees in the school, so they were actually raised in the Arboretum. And then we also had koala trees at one stage yeah, yeah, stuff like that. to supply food for the koalas at Toronto Zoo and the Koala Park. So yes, Arboretum was massive, but it's gone now because the multimedia centre is there. Now the buildings of course have changed quite a bit. Did the buildings change at all during your time there? No. no. Yes. No. Um, there was a major upgrade at one stage. So, uh, just as I was finishing up, the inward block was getting a fairly major work over, so there was the PE section put on down the end there. Uh, yeah. Uh, and of course there were the new music rooms and uh, things done upstairs as well. I gather that the office staff is all, the office is all the same there. See, yes. I used to look, on, look out on the river. Why they ever moved it, I don't know. No, 75 to 80 per cent of all the side graduates went straight to uni from school. And that's a significant achievement when you think that it is not a selective school in the academic sense, but still a first um, choice school for so many. We can do anything we want to do. We've just got to have the passion and the dream to do it.